Hello everyone and welcome to a washing machine demonstration. Yes, I thought it's high time I knocked the vacuum cleaners on the head. I won't be doing any more vacuum cleaner videos, so you can forget it. Don't ask, don't beg. It's washing machines for me all the way. What? Uh, all right then, just for you. Okay, I will keep up with the vacuum cleaner videos. You've twisted my arm. Okay, every Friday without fail. I will still be doing that. Don't worry, I'm having you on. Now, of course, this is mainly a channel for floor care reviews, but from time to time, I do like to slip in something different. We all like a little bit of a change. And I've had quite a few requests. Please make a video of your washing machine. They say, or sometimes they don't even say, please, they say, do it, do it now. I know I get all this for free, but I want you to do what I want you to do, go get your washing machine done. Anyway, that's the sort of thing that happens. But um, I thought, okay, you know, I've been worn down, but this isn't my washing machine. Ha <laughs> ha. But it is a washing machine. It happens to belong to my mum. So I'm at her house at the moment. So I thought, well, while she's got this Bosch, I thought, well, let's do a video of it. It's a bit boring, a bit nondescript, but I'll go through it and show you what it does. There is a load of washing down here, but I'm not sure what program she wants it on. She's just popped out. She's been on holiday, left loads of washing. But anyway, I can show you the machine, can't I, if you want to see it. So, without any further ado, let's have a little look at this Bosch washing machine. Well, here it is. Bosch Max automatic front-loading washing machine. I'm not sure exactly how old this is, but it is several years old. I think it's at least 10 years old. All that's needed with this machine, it's needed a new door seal and it needed new carbon brushes in the motor. But apart from that, that the only two repairs, and even when it had those repairs, it was certainly over five years, five or six years old. So it has served my mum very well. So let's start at the top and look at all the controls, obviously the powder drawer. I'll show you inside the powder drawer, but if it's all gunky and black, don't blame me. It's not my machine. It's my mum's, so obviously it's up to her how she looks after her machine. But anyway, there is the drawer, and it just says Bosch Max on it. This is model WFL, which I assume means washing machine front loader. Any of you washing machine enthusiasts, if you can confirm or deny that for me. Anyway, it's WFL. 2060. As you can see it's a pretty basic machine. We have a start button, a quick wash button and a rinse plus button there. Here is a spin speed selector. It's only a maximum thousand spin but it seems to be quite efficient but you can turn the dial obviously to manually adjust the spin down to 600 for your delicates or if you don't want it to spin straight away if you select rinse hold it means at the end of all the rinses, the machine will stop. And then when it stops, you just select whatever speed you want, press the start button, and it starts spinning. Now, my washing machine at home tells you how long it's got to run. So it's a bit disconcerting when I was using this machine. When you start it, you just don't know how long you've got to wait. Um, all it's got as an indication First of all, it says ready when the machine's ready to be programmed, active when it's going, and end when it's finished. That's all you get to know. So if you're in a hurry, there's no way of knowing how far on the program is. You know when it's washing, you know when it's rinsing, you know when it's spinning, but you just don't know how long it's got to go. So at the end of the control panel, you've got your main wash program selector. It's quite similar. We used to have a Bosch Classics, I think it was, very similar to this, um, it had a 1200 spin. I think it had a time countdown on it, I'm not sure. But it had this exact same dial, more or less. So you've got Easy Care programs on this side, cottons and linen, linens on this side. So I think at home when we had this washer, Easy Care 40 was the program that was used the most for, you know, for shirts and things like that. Very seldom would use anything else on the Easy Care. It was mainly Easy Care 40 degree wash. For tea towels, we'd normally do a 60 on cottons, or if they were very dirty, 
sometimes we'd use the intensive stains program and then once in a blue moon I would sometimes put the tea towels on a 90 which would help to clean the machine out as well as giving the tea towels a really good clean. So there's your cotton and linen programs. You can have a 60 degree wash with a pre-wash as well. Just a regular 60, a regular 30. I think the main difference between Easy Care and cottons and linens is the agitation and the, the spin speed. I think actually you can select any spin speed on this one. But certainly on cottons, the drum does agitate the clothes more than it does on Easy Care, as far as I remember. Down here you have a woolen set setting as well, 30 degree woolens, or you can do it with just cold water. This is actually a hot and cold fill, this machine. It's that old. That's to manually drain the water. And if you want to spin on its own, select spin and obviously select the spin speed and press start button. And then you can spin something that you've hand washed. As you can see, because I've turned the dial to the on position, the ready light has come on. So if I turn it to sort of off, that will go off. If the door was closed, and I started it, if I press start button now, it should say active. Yes, it does, but I'll turn that off because I don't want it to start, not just yet anyway. The one little fault with this washer is this quick wash light, you can barely see it anymore. If I press rinse plus, which is a program that's never used in this house, you can see the light illuminating quite clearly. If I press quick wash, you can't see it at all. Let me try zooming in. Let's see if we can see it. It's, quick wash is off at the moment. If I turn it on, can you just about see? Just about, I think you can just about see the light. Now that is because I think it's always, always on quick wash. My mum always has it on quick wash. It does take considerably less time on quick wash, but I think it eliminates one of the rinses. So she only has two rinses on most of her clothing. And I think because it's always on, I better leave it on. Um, I think that's why the little light is more or less burnt out. But one thing is, even if I turn it off, and quick wash has been selected previously, if I turn it on again, it does come on. So basically, that's how it stays in this house. Let's open the soap dispenser. So apologies if it's not clean. No, it isn't. Yuck. That is my fault. I haven't been a dutiful son and cleaned that out for her. To remove it, oh, it's, oh, it's gunky. It's because, unfortunately, my mum will insist on using those highly perfumed liquid detergents that absolutely stink. This does not happen in my Bosch washer, part, partly because it's supposed to be self-cleaning. Um, another reason is we don't use this gloopy, high-perfumed liquid. Tend to use non-bio, non-perfumed or ecological liquids like Ecova, Eco zone, and they don't make this gungy mess. Also, I, I use a fabric softener, but I again tend to use Ecova, Eco zone, or some plant based fabric softener, and I don't put loads in, so my drawer more or less stays pristine. And it's horrible this one. I, I'm gonna have to clean this up. So, there is the drawer. Ooh, isn't that horrible? And under here, it's a siphon. It's all gunky. Yuck. I don't think my mum would be too happy me parading her filthy drawers on YouTube. But anyway, I'm gonna i I'm gonna leave that out and give that a clean. Disgusting. Before I remove my hand, if you don't like disgusting gungy things, turn away now. This is the inside of the drawer. And as you can see. And this is the result again, I'm sure, oh, of using those horrible, horrible, I'll show you the sort of rubbish my mum puts in her machine. Oh, I'm, oh I don't believe it, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Where's she been? She's been to Net, not Netto. What is it, Aldi? Oh, that's Aldi, isn't it? Eee! She you know what? Well, she's got some, there's some aerial Actilift as well. It's a bit close, but she tends to use, she has used 
uh, surf in the past as well. I just, oh, they stink. So this is all going to need to be cleaned out. That is absolutely rank. I've gone into handheld mode to show you the true horror of the inside of this. Look at that. Now one tip you can use to clean this, these are obviously the water jets where the water goes into the soap drawer. An old toothbrush is ideal for this and some dilute bleach or you can spray some of that bleach spray. They do like, um, you can get a foaming sort of bleach spray. Spray it all up, let it soak a bit, give it a good scrub. But obviously before you use the machine again, just do a few rinses because you need all the bleach completely rinsed out of this before you start washing your clothes. Otherwise your clothes are going to be ruined. But look at that. I'm going to have to clean that up. I used to, you know, I did this quite regularly for my mum, but I've been busy and not uh, really gave it a second thought. But obviously that has been allowed to fester. I expect there'd be nasty germs in there. That's the underside of the drawer. Now another thing that's happened in this washer is black stuff on the door seal. Here's the inside of the drum. I'm not sure on the capacity of this machine, but I know it's not one of the super-sized machines. I mean, they weren't when this model was current. If any of you knows when this model was current, could you tell me in the comments below, please? But like I say, I'm sure this is at least 10 years old. But washers seem to be getting bigger and bigger internally, claiming bigger wash loads. Obviously, this is fine for my mum, who lives on her own. Very really fine for a couple, but a big family possibly doing a lot of washing. It's certainly smaller than my Bosch. I think my Bosch is an eight kilogram. This is probably five kilogram, maybe six. I'm not sure. Don't have any details to hand, but anyway, there is the drum looking lovely and pristine still. Lovely stainless steel drum, but that looks pristine. Lovely. But let's have a look at the door seal. As you can see, it's already got some nasty black. This is a a replacement seal because her old one I think it did develop a hole but it was also gunky Ooh. look at that if I pull that back now bless her she doesn't listen to me she does over a lot of things but not over this when she had this replaced I advised her what to do to stop this happening again and this when you see my washing machine I mean, it's only about three years old, but when I do a video of my washing machine, you'll not see any of this. And the reason you'll not see any of this, I believe, is the fact that at least once a fortnight or once a week, we do a 60 degree wash with biological powder. And that helps to sanitize and clean and stop all this gunk. Because my mum will not wash over 30 or 40 degrees, mostly I think she washes on 30 degrees, and uses all that liquid detergent, the germs and the nasties aren't being removed from the machine. So look at that. So if you don't have to spend money on those expensive washing machine sanitizers you can buy, just once a week, once a fortnight, use a 60 degree program with biological and powder tends to be best. So if you have your tea towels, they'll, they'll survive on a 60. A lot of bedding survives on a 60 degree wash. But because my mum thinks it's too expensive to use a 60 degree wash, she's quite happy to have that gunk in her washing machine. Because this is hot and cold fill, on the higher um, temperature programs, it only fills with hot water. On the lower temperature programs, it fills with both, I believe. It starts off filling with hot and then it'll add cold. On, of course, I think the 30 degree program and the cold program, obviously it does put cold water in. But that I will give a, I will have a crack at cleaning some of that off. But that shouldn't happen in the first place. You get a smelly washing machine and it's disgusting. You're putting your clothes in that. But anyway, she can't she won't be told, bless her. But it's a good job her son is here to to help clean up the mess caused by low temperature washes. It's a pretty well made Bosch this. I think this is probably made in Germany. I think some of the Bosch washing machines aren't all made in Germany now. I don't know if mine is. I think it's just the sort of top models now made in Germany. 
But at the time this was made, I think they were all made in Germany. But I mean, it's got a very strong hinge on the door. It's, you know, it's a tough machine. Although it does have a plastic door catch, as you can see there, the door catch is plastic, but it's it survived so far, it's not broken off. I did a video of my mum's Hoover Computer Logic tumble dryer, and that actually had a metal catch where this one's plastic, but as I say, it's pretty robust. It's a pretty tough washing machine. You can see that's the handle, it's not a push push operated door opening, it does have the traditional sort of handle, so you just pull at that to open the door. Obviously it won't open when the machine's running. And this is one of those annoying washing machines that you have to wait a couple of minutes after the program's finished before you hear a little click and then you can open the door. I don't think that happens with my Bosch, no. Once my Bosch is finished and starts bleeping, which is annoying, you can open the door straight away. I believe my mum's Hoover Computer Control 1100 was the same. You just had to wait a couple of minutes after the machine had finished before the door interlock would release and then you'll be able to open the door to remove your clothes. Right at the bottom here, I won't open it in case there will be water. Again, it's a little bit, little bit dirty. Inside here, well behind there is the pump. There's a little sort of a filter in there. You can unscrew that. Water will pour out of that if I do that. Um, you can rinse that off if it gets any lint or anything gets caught in there. And if you get a power cut or for some reason you can't open the door and you need to drain the machine, again I believe my Bosch at home has this. There's a little pipe that comes out, little stopper on, just remove the stopper and you can it's quite low down so you need a tray or something and you have to keep um, emptying the tray until all the water is out of the machine or at least below the level of the door so you should by then you should have access to your laundry as you can see there is a pile of washing here but I'm not really sure if that's all to go in on one load it seems to be mainly towels but I don't know so I can't really it's not my washing so I can't actually do a load at this present time I'm afraid. I'll turn the washer on and we can see a bit of action going. But next time I'm here, which it'll be in a few months time, I'll be able to do a few washes for you if you're interested. So if you want to see that, comment below and as soon as I can I will do a few washes in this machine. But until then I'm just going to turn the machine on, let it do a few motions before draining it out. I will give the drawer a clean before my mum does some washing. Anyway, I'm going to select, I think, cottons and linens. It could do with actually going on a 90, but anyway, I'm selecting 90 degree wash, 1000 spin. It's on quick wash, which I'm going to leave it. I'm going to press start and it should start to fill. Obviously, look, the active light has come on and it'll start to fill with just hot water now. Just about to see, I'm not sure if some of the nozzles might be blocked. Doesn't seem to be filling. Could be, I'm not sure. Anyway, whoops, it started rotating. Obviously, we're not going to see much here. It's not filled it with a lot of water because it senses the load. So, if there's not much in there, it's not going to add any more water. Had that been a full load, at this stage, the sensor would kick in and it would start adding more water. But because it's empty, as you can see, there's not much water in there at all. Well, that's just about the end of this little review and demo of the Bosch Max automatic washing machine. The next thing I'm going to do is drain the machine, take out the drawer and give that a good clean and the drawer compartment and the door seal. Give it a couple of rinses and then my mum can put the laundry in when she comes home. In fact, what I'll do, just at the end of this video, I'll take a few shots of the next load in action. But as I said, if you want to see more of this machine in action and various different programs, I will try to do it the next time I'm here, but it won't be for a few months when I'm here for a few days. I'll be able to do that for you. 
So until the next video, please subscribe and you'll be updated every time I upload a new video. It's always vacuum cleaners on a Friday, but occasionally on a Monday you might see something like this, a washing machine. So I hope you regular vac fans don't mind seeing the occasional washing machine because there are some people who like washing machines as well as vacuum cleaners. Anyway, for me, it's goodbye and I'll see you soon.